Hey, what's up guys, Josh here from Attack, and today is going to be an interesting day as we're checking out quite a few gaming peripherals and accessories, 13 to be exact, and they're all coming from a company called Vertux. Now these are all going to be available on e-commerce websites such as Lazada and Shopee, and just to let you guys know, this is where we'll be basing our prices from. So why don't we check these devices out and give it a quick look. <laughs> All right, so first up, we have this microphone called the Vertux Sphere. Now, as you can see, this is a USB cardioid microphone, and it's got this ball-shaped design. Now, why don't we just do this quick unboxing? Do we have a... All right, there's our razor over here. Let's just give that a quick unboxing. So, out of the box, the first thing that you'll actually see is this styrofoam, and beneath that, there's nothing else but this microphone and your other accessories such as your tripod and your USB A to B cable. Now, the build quality on this one is actually pretty nice because it actually feels pretty heavy. Okay, so we've got some features here including a mute mode, volume control over at the top, and of course an aux output jack over here at the back. And this is where you also plug in your USB A to B cable over here, and of course the other end goes into your PC. Now this doesn't stand alone, although it can, but you can also put this tripod over here with these rubber legs beneath to keep everything stabilized. And just to let you guys know, this is how it looks when it is standing on the table. And this has a 360 swivel as well, so this is actually pretty good if you have it on the side and you want it facing in another direction and things like that. Okay, so as for the price, the Vertux Sphere is going to cost you 2,695 pesos. And just to let you guys know, this is how it's going to sound. Alright, so this is a quick microphone test using the Vertux Sphere. How do I sound? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Okay, moving on, we do have another microphone as well, and this one is actually cheaper than what you saw earlier. This one is called the Streamer 3, and when we saw this box, we actually thought this was a bungee, but actually it's a high-intensity anti-vibration gaming microphone. And it does have some LED backlights as well, so that's actually quite interesting. A couple of other features also include the mute button, a 3.5mm input jack, an anti-vibration microphone, an LED switch button over here at the back, and a flexible neck. Alright, so why don't we do a unboxing of this and see what we have inside. Alright, so inside the box is pretty straightforward as we don't, you don't get much paperwork. We don't get paperwork at all actually, but we do have the microphone itself and of course the USB cable, which is plugged in and is non-removable, which is fine since you're gonna plug it in anyway. Okay, so plopping that on the table right here, this is how it's going to look. And again, putting that aside against the normal bungee, it, it really does look quite similar. With this design, you actually get less vibration, which is very important when you're playing games since, of course, it's not going to be always smooth when you're here. Sometimes you have uh, your mouse moving left and right and it could cause some vibration. And these rubber pads are actually going to be helpful along with this 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 thing i don't know what to call it but, <laughs> but yeah that's gonna be actually very helpful and there you go so it does work plug and play so once you plug it in your pc should automatically detect it and you should be well on your way so yeah this is the vertox streamer 3 and if you guys are interested this is going to cost you a thousand one hundred and sixty five pesos again here is a quick audio test all right, so this is a quick audio test using the Vertux Streamer 3, and we're gonna do our first test using it really up close. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Now we're gonna try it a little bit further. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. How does it sound? Okay, so now that we've checked out Vertux's microphones, why don't we check out something else? This one is actually going to be a headphone stand, and this one is called the Vertux x -Tent. And I've actually seen a couple of my friends actually use this and buy this off Lazada and Shopee as well, so I'm actually quite familiar in a way. But if you guys don't know, let's do a quick unboxing and show you guys what we have inside. Okay, now that we've got all the tape out, let's check out what's inside. Alright, so first thing you'll see is a plastic top that keeps it all together and of course the headphone stand itself wrapped in 
lovely plastic. And there's gonna be nothing else in here except your paperwork and this cable over here. And this is a USB-A to USB-A type cable as you guys can see. All right, so let's check out the headphone stand itself. All right, so the headphone stand actually does have a couple of things other than just holding your headphone up. So it also comes with a mouse bungee over here at the middle, and it also has two USB hub ports over here on the left and right. And yes, this reads data as well. I've tried this before, so yes, we can confirm that. And apart from this, it actually also has RGB lighting. And just to show you guys how that looks, we're gonna plug that up right now. Okay, so you plug it over here at the back, like so. So right after you plug it, you do notice we do have this RGB illumination. Well, not really RGB, but it does go through a course of seven different colors, if I'm not mistaken. And it does have different patterns as well. It does breathe, and it goes through blue, white, red, green, dark blue, pink, and yellow. So if you're a Bungie user and you're looking for a headphone stand as well, then maybe this one is a better option to have. So as for the price, the Vertux Extant is going to cost you 1,195 pesos, and we do have a couple of other gaming peripherals to check out as well, including some headphones, so we're just going to place this over here on the left, just so you guys could see that in a moment. Alright, so next up we do have a mouse pad, and this one is going to be called the Vertux Flux Pad. And this one is going to come with some RGB LED illumination, and if you look at the back, we do have some other features as well, including a non-slip base, a last setting memory, easy cleaning, low surface friction, six lighting styles, and a water resistant surface. All right, so inside the box is just nothing but your usual paperwork and of course the mouse pad itself. Now let's just take out that foam. I did not expect this to have a, a hard surface, but it is hard bound actually. Okay, so now that we've got this one out of the box, we are gonna be presented with something that looks pretty simple actually. Nothing but your Vertux logo on the lower right and some labeling over here that says Optimized Surface Pro Gaming Mouse Pad. It also has that anti-slip mat, so this is gonna be very good for when you're gonna be playing games. And we actually do have a mouse coming up next, so you guys are gonna be seeing that in action in a moment. And this one is actually gonna cost you 2,245 pesos, and it's actually not that bad for the price. Plugged up, it's gonna look something like this, and wow, it actually doesn't look bad at all. This is pretty aesthetic if you ask me. It shifts through colors, and to change that, you just press this button over here at the top, which shifts it through RGB and different lighting styles. Actually, can we turn down the lights just to see how this looks? Whoa, all right, this is looking really, really spiffy if you ask me. Wow, all right, I can't wait to get this mouse up on board. All right, so let's place this on the side first so we can get straight to the mouse. All right. All right, so we actually do have two mice over here, but we are gonna be checking out just one for now. And this one is gonna be called the Vertux Cobalt. And if you look at the back of the box, we do have some features over here, such as durable clicks, best-in-class optical sensor, split trigger buttons, multi-weight balance support right in the middle, a fatigue-free performance, and a DPI of 4,800. If you look over to the side, we do have some other features over here, including a 3 million click capability and an optical sensor with 4,800 DPI. It's also rainbow backlit, so I can't wait to see that as well. And just as a quick preview, you can actually just flip this over here and you can see what is inside. So let's just open this up and properly access that mouse. Alright, so opening this up, you will be presented with nothing but the mouse and of course it's it has a cable as well attached to it. <clears throat> All right, so once you've taken everything out of the box, you're gonna get nothing but some paperwork and of course the mouse itself. And if you look at the mouse, you actually do have this black and silver design. We also get braided cables over here with some red and black accents, which is going to be good to keep your cord lasting as long as possible. The left and right switches also have some design to it, including where your palm rests over here. And if you look at the side, we also have some two extra buttons along with the DPI switch right here. But that's not all because this has something that pops out and this is actually what keeps everything all nice and heavy. You can actually take this out over here by pushing the weights out like so. Let's say you only want one and you can just 
plop that back in like so and game away if you want to put that back in take that out put them in again it doesn't matter which way and put it back and we have a heavy mouse once again so this is actually going to be helpful because some people prefer a heavy mouse while others don't so yeah we have the option to switch it to either a super light setting a moderate setting or a heavy setting which is what we have right on right now now as for the price the cobalt is going to cost you 1295 pesos but wait we still have a keyboard to unbox so let's just put this on the side and let's check out that keyboard as well all right so now that we've checked out the mouse we do also have a keyboard along to go with that and this one is going to be called the vertux raid key and at the front we do see it also has some rainbow led lights and a little bit of a sneak peek as well where you can feel the switches and Obviously, these are very, very clicky, so these are going to be blue. Flipping over to the back, we do have some more information as well, and that includes blue mechanical keys as suspected. And it does come with a 50 million keystroke life, 25 anti-ghosting keys, which are highlighted over here, and of course, this has a 125 hertz frequency as well. Okay, so now that we've checked out the features, let's go ahead and see what we have inside. Let's just take this trusty blade again. And see if we can open this nice and neat. Ah, that's good. Ah. Okay, so opening the box, we are presented with the keyboard that is protected by this plastic over here, which we will set down. And that's it. This is the keyboard. And this one is actually going to be pretty hefty as well, which is good, actually. We do also have a small wrist rest over here where you could rest your palms. And we do have a built-in USB cable as well. So let's just plug this up. And as you notice, we do have a couple of things plugged in already. But that's not going to be a problem because this, again, does have that USB hub from the headphone stand. So let's just show you how that looks. Plug that bad boy right here. There is the Vertux RAID key. Now as for the price, the RAID key is going to cost you 1,695 pesos. And before we move on, let's just do a quick typing test. Very clicky switches, definitely. Definitely blue. Not bad at all. And I'm sure you can also configure the RGB lights as well through um, key combinations. But I can only see this right now, so let's just do that. And of course, we have your multimedia keys up here as well. Okay, so now that we have the mouse and the keyboard on deck, why don't we fire up some games and see how they perform. This time we have Overwatch loaded up, and just so you guys could see how the mouse feels and the keyboard, we are going to be firing some shots against these robots over here. And as I'm going around, I do feel these switches are very, very clicky, as you can already here and this actually feels pretty good to play with and I'm sure if you were a typist this would be a pretty nice thing to use as well but for gaming this is no problem at all I, I'm having a fun time I'm playing just as I normally would with my normal keyboard and I have no complaints the mouse is also really good because it, again it does have that weight over here that you can adjust yourself and right now I have it on the heaviest setting because I do like my mice very heavy. And again, I am playing just as I would on my normal PC without any problems. All right, so the next box that we have is actually called the Vertux Rodon. And this one looks a little bit more premium compared to the one that we saw earlier. All right, flip that over to the back. We do see some other features over here. And if you look at the side, it also has a maximum DPI of 12,000, which is about three times more than the mouse that we saw earlier. And it also gets full spectrum RGB lighting as well. Now we can open the box over here and we see the preview of the mouse. But of course, to get right to it, we do open this plastic tab over here. Now that we have everything out, we can pull this. We can pull this tab over here revealing the mouse itself okay inside you'll see nothing but the usual paperwork okay now that we've got everything out of the box let's go and plug this in it also comes with a braided cable and this one is gonna be black whereas the other one earlier was black and red I like this one a little bit more because it looks 
a little bit more classic and matches with the rest of the aesthetic. Okay, now that we have it plugged up, you can see we do have some RGB lighting as well. And it's actually pretty nice. It feels good. It's not as heavy as the mouse that we had earlier, but it's a little bit in between. So looking at the mouse, it is constructed out of plastic, but it does have this matte-like finish, which feels really good to hold in the hand. It also comes with some side grips over here on the left and on the right side, which makes for better grip when you're playing your favorite games. The Rodon is priced at 2,245 pesos. But what's a mouse without a keyboard? So let's bring in the pair of this as well, which is going to be the Vertux Tantalum. Alright, so earlier you guys saw the RAID key, which was a little bit smaller, but if you guys are looking for something a little bit bigger, or maybe if you have some extra desk space, then maybe this one is a better option for you. Now this is a mechanical keyboard as well, and we do feel the switches over here. And if you flip the box over, you can see the other features. And this time we can see that we do have Automo Blue switches, and that is confirmed over here. And as well as 100% anti-ghosting keys, whereas earlier it was 25 keys only. Alright, opening the box, we are presented with, of course, just the keyboard and the plastic cover. That keeps it from getting dust inside and wow this is a heavy one over here definitely a premium feeling keyboard okay so now that we have it out of the box it does have this really really heavy heft to it which is gonna be good if you want this to be a very stable keyboard which i think it is going to be because it is quite grippy as well underneath and apart from the heaviness and the rgb lighting I'm sure that this is gonna be really fun to play games with. Okay, so now that we have everything set up, this is how the keyboard sounds. All right, so again, if you do have that extra desk space and you want a full mechanical keyboard, then maybe the Vertux Tantalum is the one for you. Now this comes with blue automo switches as you saw in the box earlier, and we can confirm that these are indeed clicky as well. All right, so why don't we fire up some typing tests just to see how this actually sounds when you're typing. And this feels a little bit lighter than the keyboard that we tried earlier. Okay, so trying this keyboard up, it, it feels pretty good. It uses those Automo Blue switches as we saw earlier in the box. And uh, yeah, but if you're looking for clicky switches, these are pretty clicky if I do say so myself. All right, so playing Overwatch again with the Tantalum combined with the Rodon mouse. It feels pretty good. We got Automo Blue switches again on the keyboard, and it's not the clickiest, but if you're not too keen on keyboards, then these are pretty workable to play with. Alright, so trying the Rodon mouse, it feels pretty good. We have some adjustable DPI settings over here as well, and thankfully it does have some plus and minus buttons, so we can actually make that slower if we want, or much more sensitive if that's your cup of tea. Alright, so we have five more things to check out. Three of which are going to be headphones and the other two which you'll find out later. But starting with our first headphones, we have the Vertux Denali. And this one is a high fidelity surround sound gaming headset as you can see in the box. And it's also compatible for Xbox One, PC, PS4, and for smartphones as well. Taking a quick look at the back, we do have some other features as well such as some noise reduction ear pads, comfortable earmuffs, 40mm tweeters, adjustable headstand, and a 3.5mm input jack. It's also got a rainbow LED backlit light as well, which is very nice to see. Now, why don't we unbox this really quickly? Alright. Taking it out of the main box, there is going to be another smaller box which holds the cable. And it's quite interesting to see that we do have two inputs here as well. One being the 3.5mm audio jack, and of course another USB-A input cable. Okay, so here are the headphones themselves, and as you can see, we do have this long wire over here that is braided as well with that red and black accent to match the rest of the headphones. And since we do have this headphone stand over here with that USB hub, let's just plug that in over at the side. And fix that onto the headphone stand so you guys can see how that looks. All right. That doesn't look pretty bad, if you ask me. And if you look at the sides, we do have that RGB illumination with the Vertux logo and the Vertux logo again on the other side. Alright, so if you take a look at the headphones, we do have some foam over here. And 
just so you guys can see how that looks on the head when you wear it this is how it's going to look and i believe we do have a microphone somewhere here as well there you go so now you're ready to game and it's really nice that we have these dual input connections over here because let's say you have a laptop and all of the ports are taken so you do have a choice whether you want to put the usb input or the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack whichever one is more convenient for you so that's a really nice addition to the vertux denali high fidelity surround sound gaming headset for the xbox one pc ps4 and for smartphones as well not bad Okay, so I can't show you guys how this is going to sound in real life, but the best way I could show you guys is to describe it for you. So right now I have some music playing in the background and it's actually pretty clear. We have some good bass and some good treble, and the mid to high tones are actually not that bad and they don't hurt my ears at all even if I did max out the volume. Not bad. It's also got some RGB as well, if you want to look cool while you're listening to music. Okay, so this is a quick microphone test using the Vertux Denali's. How do I sound? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Alright. As for the price, the Vertux Denali is going to cost you 1,435 pesos. Alright, so our second pair of headphones are going to be these Vertux Havanas. And as you can see, right off the bat, it looks a lot more premium than the headphones we saw earlier. As you can see, this one has RGB and it supports Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, the PS5, PCs, and smartphones as well. Taking a quick look at the back of the box, we have some larger 50mm audio drivers, a noise isolating microphone, zero fatigue ear cushions, and if you look at the bottom, it looks like we have the same configuration as well with one USB-A input and one 3.5mm headphone jack. Lifting the top of the box, we are presented with the headphones itself, and it's protected by this plastic sheet over here. Now that we've got that out of the box, nothing else is going to be inside apart from the usual paperwork and of course, the headphone cable, which is plugged into the headphones and you cannot remove. Okay, so now that we got the plastic out, you can see that this actually looks really, really good. And again, it has that larger 50 millimeter driver, that noise isolating mic, and of course the 3.5 millimeter input jack with that USB-A input. So let's just plug this in and see how that looks when it's powered up. All right, so we do have some RGB over here on the sides and as well as on the microphone itself. Very, very nice. Okay, I think this one looks a lot better than the one that we saw earlier just because it matches more with the rest of the black color. But yeah, let's go ahead and take this for a quick test and plug this straight to the PC. All right, so now that we've got everything plugged in, let's go ahead and give this a quick sound test. But before that, I just want to mention that we do have this nice design over here, which you can see right before you put the earphones over your ears. All right, so this one feels a little bit less bassy compared to the headphones earlier, but it does have punchier mids, which is pretty important when you're listening to a lot of vocals or maybe if you like to video edit some voices or things like that. But yeah, it's still not a bad pair of headphones. You do get that nice RGB and of course the microphone as well with that blue illumination. And I guess there's nothing left to do but to do a microphone test, which we will do right now. Alright, so this is going to be a quick microphone test using the Vertux Havanas. Alright, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Hmm, I think this sounds much better. What do you guys think? Alright, so as for the price, the Vertux Havana is going to cost you 1,795 pesos and it's actually not a bad price considering what you're going to be getting. Alright, moving on to our final pair of headphones. Our last pair of headphones, which I saved for last, is going to be called the Vertux Manilas. And these are actually going to be the most inexpensive ones out of the three. These come with 50mm drivers just like the one you saw earlier and comes with a black or blue design. It's also going to be compatible for the Xbox One, the PC, PS4, and of course your smartphones as well. So why don't we open this up, take out that plastic, and check out what's inside. I think I was also late to notice that these also come with two years worth of warranty, so that's actually a nice thing to see as well. Okay, taking this out, wow, these actually, these look good. <laughs> okay, so let's just figure out how to take this out of the box that's keeping it together. Okay, with everything out of the box, this is what you're going to be getting. The headphones and of course the cable that comes along with it, which is attached and for once this one doesn't have a USB-A cable with it. 
So unlike the other two headphones, this one comes with just one 3.5mm headphone jack. And that's because this doesn't have RGB in it, which isn't that bad if you prefer a more stealthy look. You can also see on the left side over here we have the Vertux logo, and on the opposite end is the Manila label right here. Alright, so let's just wear these headphones and give it a quick test and see how they sound. Now, with these headphones on, I'm playing some classic hip-hop music. Alright, so off the bat, I do notice that there is a lot less bass compared to the other two headphones, but that shouldn't matter because clarity is probably the most important factor out of them all. And this is actually not that bad because even if there is a lack of bass, the sound is still pretty crisp, which is more important. And since we do have a microphone as well, let's just give that a quick sound test. Alright, so this is the mic test of the Vertux Manilas. And how do they sound? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What's up guys? Josh here if you get tech, and this is a mic test. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now as for the price, the Vertex Manilas will cost you 1,345 pesos. Alright, 11 items down, but we still have two left to go. And we're gonna be checking this one out next, which is going to be called the Vertux Glare. And this one is a quiet cooling laptop stand with rainbow LED lights, as you can see in the image. Flipping that over at the back, we do have some other features as well, and that includes an 800 RPM fan speed, dual USB ports, fan speed control, an adjustable height, and of course, a toggle button for your LED lights. Opening that up reveals the lovely laptop cooler. So with everything out of the box, you are going to be getting the cooler itself, and of course, a USB-A to USB-A cable, which is braided as well, so that's really nice to see. Alright, so looking at the cooler itself, it is pretty big, so I think we can fit in a gaming laptop or maybe anything that's even bigger than that. But yeah, this should also come with RGB, and if you flip that over to the back, you also see that really large fan over here, which does all the cooling for you. And we also have these feet over here that you could stand up if you want a more angled double, which is looking pretty good, actually. Alright, so what's a laptop stand without a laptop to try it with? So here we have a lovely laptop, so we're just gonna plug this in with the included USB-A to USB-A cable. Alright, so plugging this into the laptop, first thing you'll notice is that we do get this illumination at the front. It's not RGB, but we do have the full spectrum over here from end to end. And over here at the middle is the Vertux logo, which has some red back lighting. Alright, so to turn the cooler on, you do have to turn this wheel over, and that should enable the laptop cooling. Okay, so this is how it's going to look when you have the laptop propped into the... Alright, so this is how it looks, and I can actually feel that it is... Alright, so this is how it's basically going to look, and you can actually feel all the coolness already on the sides. So this is a good indicator that it does have some good cooling capabilities. So if you do have a gaming laptop which can run rather hot, then the Vertux Glare might be your best bet yet. This is going to cost you 1,295 pesos. Alright, so last but certainly not least is this Bluetooth speaker called the Roomba. And this one also comes with RGB lighting, as you can see, rainbow LED lights. And at the back, we do have 14 watt drivers and Bluetooth 5.0. So this one is going to be compatible with Xbox Series X and S, the PS5, smartphones, and I guess PCs as well if they have Bluetooth support. Alright, so let's get on and open this box. With all that plastic out, let's go ahead and see what we got inside. Okay, we have the usual plastic protection, and beneath that is the speakers themselves covered in another layer of plastic. Alright, so the rest of the stuff are going to be a 3.5 to 3.5 millimeter jack, and a, what is this? Ah, a USB-A to USB Type-C charging cable. And let's check out the Bluetooth speakers themselves. All right, so if you look at the speakers, it does come in this rubberized matte looking texture, and it looks pretty rugged if you ask me. Now this can stand both vertically and horizontally, and let's just turn this on by holding the button right in the middle, and that activates your two seven watt speakers. Oh, Bluetooth mode <laughs> with a cool voice <laughs> so um, yeah this has a this is a very masculine sounding speaker <laughs> let's just do that again checking out the rest of the stuff if you pull this tab over here this actually reveals your charging 
area and as well as your aux input and another input to put your micro SD card in if you don't want to use Bluetooth. Nice. It also has this tab over here where you could use to hang the speakers and up top is the Vertux logo. Up top you can find the power button, the volume rocker keys on each side, the play button, and this button over here which I suppose controls the RGB lighting. So let's just turn this on and give this a quick pair and see how this guy sounds. Bluetooth mode. Alright, so I think I gotta turn the volume down because it is a little bit too loud. And that's actually gonna be a good thing for a speaker of this size. Alright, so apart from being loud, it also has IPX6 water resistance and 7.5 to 14.5 hours of battery life depending on the volume. It also has 4 hours of charging time as well. Now, as for the price, the Roombas are going to cost you 2,425 pesos. Not a bad deal for the price. Alright, so that wraps up our Vertux haul for today. 13 different gaming peripherals and accessories, all at a pretty good price. But which one was your favorite? But personally, the Extent is probably going to be my favorite one out of the bunch, because not only does it hold your headphones, but it also has some RGB illumination, a mouse bungee, and of course it has dual USB inputs as well. But that's it for me. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any future uploads, and be sure to visit yukitech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Again, this has been Josh, stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.